Yeah, how will we make it? Take off. Oh. Home point updated. Welcome to the channel, and I wanted to give you guys an update on my Tesla and what's been going on. We recently had a car show in Williston where we had a bunch of EVs, and it was a great turnout. And my car recently just turned over 179,000 miles. Um, as far as maintenance goes, I, I had to spend $600 getting the uh, air conditioner serviced and recharged. Other than that, it's been a perfect vehicle for my 100 mile daily commute. I kind of wanted to uh, debunk some things that I've been hearing lately. Uh, a lot of negative news about Teslas and EVs in general. So I had a lot of requests from people asking me, hey, can you put something out that kind of you know, gives us an update on EVs and where they stand. So here comes my list. Um, first thing I want to say that um, my power comes from solar. So even though you hear a lot of things about uh, where EVs are powered, uh, mine is powered by solar. Now, a lot of things you'll hear is about the coal powered car, the coal powered Tesla, the coal powered EV. Remember in Florida, only 4% of our power comes from coal. 75% is natural gas and the rest is renewables. So that kind of um, you know, story is kind of moot in Florida. Now other states are different, but that's the stats in Florida that I know. And when I get home, my daughter charges my car every night for me, she plugs it in. So, you know, if you can plug in a cell phone, you can plug in a car, it's very easy. And she really enjoys it. I've given a lot of friends rides recently that are EV curious. And one of the big things that I've been hearing as far as the number two thing goes, is EVs are slow. Now, of course, we all know that some of the fastest cars in the world are EVs. Uh, you know, Tesla has 1,000 horsepower cars. Um, you know, GM even has a 1,000 horsepower Hummer. Next, I wanna talk about EV fires. Now, that brings me to my number three point, which is EVs catch fire at a much lower rate, which is per 100,000 vehicles is 25 for EVs versus 1,530 for gasoline cars. Now my fourth point is charging is very inconvenient. Like I said before, if you can plug in a cell phone, you can plug in your car. I have my daughter do it every time I get home. It's not a big deal. There's a supercharger 20 miles away. So if I do forget, I can supercharge and then I can get to work if I need to. Uh, but like I said, every night I pretty much just charge at home. And you really want to do that because it's much cheaper to charge at home. It's more convenient. Your charge is, uh, your car is charged when you're at home sleeping. So every morning I wake up, I have a full tank of electricity, essentially. And like I said, it's no picnic at the gas pump either. I was driving my wife's car and our credit card got stuck in the gas pump. The manager had to come out with pliers and basically pull our credit card out of the gas pump. Now, number five, electric vehicles are expensive. I won't deny this for new electric vehicles, but on cars.com, you can get a Model 3 now for 17,000. Now with the EV tax credit, which is $4,000 for a used EV, you can be for, you know, say 12 grand, you could be in a used Model 3, which is a great price. Some of these new ones like this Chevy Blazer that's 60 grand for a brand new Chevy Blazer EV, they're super expensive. Always get, uh, shop used if you can, you're gonna save a ton of money. And this used EV tax credit is awesome. Now number six, not enough fast chargers. I hear this a lot too. Um, there's tons and tons of chargers in Florida. Uh, other states, you know, you can go on supercharger.info and look around, but there are tons and tons of chargers nationwide. In fact, I looked this up. There are 6,350 Tesla fast chargers nationwide. So that is a lot of chargers just for Teslas. Now, Tesla will be opening up their chargers to other EVs this year, which is gonna be a game changer for the other manufacturers. I just love how the built-in software navigates you automatically with the charging in mind and plans your route. Now, getting over to Chinese-made electric cars. Um, Tesla has some of the highest rated uh, Made in America stats. So that point is kind of moot. In fact, Teslas are more made in America than your typical F-150. In fact, they're one of the most vertically integrated companies. They even make their own seats, software, batteries, you name it. It's all made in house. Now let's get over to the dreaded battery failure. I always hear this. Now my car is, is a 2013 with 179,000 miles as of this taping. 
and it has the original battery. I still get 220 miles of range at a full charge and it's been essentially maintenance free for me. I've had it since 2019 and it's been a great car. Uh, it even has the original uh, brake pads, which is great. But yeah, the batteries, they last, you know, a very long time and they're covering under, under an eight year, 120,000 mile warranty. Is maintenance expensive? I hear this a lot too. In fact, I recently had to have my tail light redone and it was only $300 to replace the tail light. Um, for example, an F-150 tail light, the new ones are $1,500 with the uh, sensor. And when the tail light was done, the mobile ranger came out to my car and he actually um, did it on the spot. Here he is, you know, taking the back hatch apart because it was that tail light that's on the inside. And then one time I had the 12 volt battery go out, which he actually came to my house and he uh, changed the 12 volt battery for me. So that was really nice. But these uh, mobile rangers are great. They'll come to your, your workplace um, or you can drive your car to Tesla or you can go to a place like Electrified Garage. Now tires are a part of maintenance and EVs are heavier. Ever since I switched to 19 inch rims with the Goodyear Eagle tires, uh, they've lasted me for the last uh, 40,000 miles and I still got probably 30% tread life left. Now another thing I hear is that EVs are unsafe. And this is really crazy because uh, actually Teslas are some of the safest cars on the road, period. And this is uh, verified by the um, Insurance Safety Institute. And in fact, they've tried to roll over Teslas and they won't roll over because the battery is so low in the floor. Um, this one guy, you know, drove 250 feet off a cliff and uh, all four occupants survived. And that was a Tesla Model S. So yeah, they're very, very safe vehicles. I hope this sheds some light on Teslas and electric vehicles in general. And if you guys have any comments or questions, please leave them in below and I'll answer every single one you guys have. In fact, if you're in the Ocala area, I'll give you a test drive. Just let me know. We are gonna have an upcoming car show in a few months in Williston, Florida, and I'll be posting that on my channel. I just wanna thank you guys because, you know, I'm fixing to hit 950,000 views on my channel and it wouldn't be possible without you guys. Um, I'm gonna be including a lot more future content with my drone. I'm looking forward to get one of those Insta360 cameras, and that's gonna be some really great content. But if you guys have any ideas, let me know, please. Welcome to Bryce's channel. I'm you, too. Thank you for watching.